Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and if you want to step up your outfit game this summer, then this is the video for you. It is time for my annual summer essentials list. I actually just posted a spring essentials video not that long ago, and all of you guys were like, Courtney? It's summer already, so you need to get on it and post a summer essentials video. So you asked, I am delivering. Summer is my favorite time of year, but sometimes it's difficult to find stylish outfits that are going to also work for the weather and the warm months ahead. These are all items that I think make for a great summer wardrobe with some classic staples, some fresh new styles that will ensure you stay cool literally all summer long. And if you missed my spring essentials video, make sure you go check that out too after this one because a lot of those styles can easily transition into summertime and you'll see some of those items carry over here. The first item on my list, we're gonna do things a little bit different here and start with accessories, is a pair of sunglasses. So these are a necessity for protecting your eyes and they also make you look instantly cooler. If you get the right pair for your features, you get that style and function, which is a win-win. And truth be told, there are some really bad styles of sunglasses out there. Of course, it's all subjective, I guess, but if you care about my opinion, I will happily tell you. I am not a fan of the really sporty type sunglasses. I think unless you are doing an outdoor activity that would warrant wearing them, you should not wear them as a stylish option. I'm thinking Oakley's, it's gonna be a no from me dog, white sunglasses on guys I'm also not a fan of, but to each their own. If you want my opinion on something specific, you can of course shoot me a DM on Instagram or let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to give you my opinion. Moral of the story is to find something that works with your personal style and also your face shape and your features. Next is a summer fragrance and as you know, no list of mine would be complete without a season appropriate fragrance. Think refreshing, light, citrusy, a cool splash of water, a tropical vacation, a summer fragrance should fit the occasion. Some of my favorites here that I think of off the top of my head are Bergamato di Positano from Floris, Under the Lemon Tree by Mason Margiela, Dior Homme Sport, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. I could go on. I've done a ton of videos over on my fragrance channel about summer fragrances. If you're interested, you can go check those out. Again, you really want to think of something fresh, aquatic, citrusy, maybe lemon, bergamot, marine type fragrances, anything that's going to work in the warmer months of the year. As I mentioned in my spring video, you don't want to be wearing a very heavy, sticky, gourmand scent in a very hot day in the summertime. It's going to feel overwhelming, overpowering, it's gonna weigh you down, uh, and it's not gonna be great for the people around you either. So again, think light, refreshing, citrusy. There are so many summer appropriate fragrances to choose from, but I would love to know your favorite down in the comments. My next essential is a linen button up, one of my all time favorites. For shirts in general during warmer weather, you want to choose natural fibers instead of synthetic, or at least do your best to. Synthetics tend to trap a lot of moisture and reduce breathability, um, so something like a cotton or a linen is going to be far superior on those hot days during the year. As I mentioned, linen shirts are one of my all-time favorites, and I think they look incredible if you roll up the sleeves and show a little forearm. The same, as I mentioned, with the Oxford button-down in my Spring Essentials video, the same rule is true here. It looks so much sexier, so much hotter if you roll up those sleeves. And it's summer after all, so don't be afraid to show a little bit of skin. Linen always just looks really effortless to me and is a perfect choice for a summer day. It's absorbent, it's quick drying, and since it's so breathable, I think I would go with a long sleeve and roll those sleeves up instead of a short sleeve. You can absolutely do a short sleeve too. I just tend to like the look of a long sleeve with the sleeves rolled up a little bit better, but again, totally up to you. Next is a crisp white t-shirt. So white t-shirts are a must have for summertime. These can be worn on their own with pretty much anything you can think of or underneath your favorite button down for a breezy look. Every guy should have a rotation of white t-shirts in his closet, but especially for summertime, something to keep in mind here are those pits on a white t-shirt can get a little dingy, so make sure you get some stain remover to put on those before you throw them in the washing machine. This is going to help. After a while, after so many washes, after so many wears, sometimes those stains just don't come out and you're gonna have to get new ones. So would I recommend necessarily spending an arm and a leg on a white t-shirt? No, I wouldn't because I think they get dingy no matter how well you take care of them eventually. Um, so, you know, having a rotation that you can work with is definitely going to help you here. My next essential is a Cuban collar shirt. I love these. In my spring video, I talked about kind of a new fresh version of a polo, whether it be an open collar, a Cuban collar, there's a ton of different names for it, but they're all essentially the same thing. 
They feature a spread collar and a more relaxed fit, and these are awesome for summertime. Again, or some other variation of the traditional polo here, or a polo if you're a traditional kind of guy and you like that look, I love the polo too. But there are so many awesome options here depending on the look that you're going for and what your style is. You can certainly stick with the neutrals, those look amazing. You could go for a pop of color or a pattern. If you're not really a pop of color or pattern type of guy, you can think about texture instead. So a lot of these have really nice textures on them, even if they are you know, a rather neutral color like a khaki or an olive, something like that. If they have a little bit of texture, it just makes them look more dynamic, more unique, and not so run of the mill, You know, came from H&M and there's nothing going on. Um, you can absolutely play around with this a little bit and find what works for you, the choice is yours to make. And again, there's a ton of variation here. Some have buttons all the way down and some do not. If it does have buttons, you could wear it on its own or you could leave it open with a white t-shirt underneath for a different type of look. So many different ways you can style this and wear it and pair with different pants and shoes. It's just a really great staple to have in your summer wardrobe. My next essential is above the knee shorts. And I'm so serious when I say above the knee because all shorts are not created equal. I'm not gonna get really specific here on the type of shorts because I think there are a lot of different styles that look nice and it really just depends on you know what your style is. If you're more of an athleisure guy, maybe you wear a pair of sweat shorts or drawstring shorts. If you're a guy who likes to look really polished and put together and maybe a little preppy, maybe you go for a pleated chino short. So again, so many options here. But I will say chino and linen are great for summertime and will probably be my top recommendations. And I say above the knee because if your shorts are covering your knees in any way, they are too long. And something that I also wanted to mention really quick about anything that's going to be linen, this is like the only piece of clothing that it is okay if it's a little bit wrinkled. Um, it doesn't have to look perfect because you could steam linen shorts right before you leave the house. You go to a restaurant, sit down in five seconds, they are crinkled, they are wrinkled, they do not look how they look when you left the house. And that is okay. Again, this is the only time that wrinkles are acceptable, but if it bothers you and you want to look good when you first leave the house, definitely get a steamer. Next is a light chino pant. These are going to be your denim of the summertime, the workhorse of your warm weather wardrobe that can pretty much be paired with anything. I recommend going for a lighter color. The reason why I say light chino pant is so that they keep you even cooler. This is a rule that I try to follow in the summertime for other pieces of clothing as well. I just notice when I wear very dark clothing, obviously it's going to absorb more sunlight, trap in heat, and make you a little bit hotter. So when you go for those lighter colors, it does tend to help at least a little bit. And summer is just the time of year to wear lighter clothing, um, to have a little bit of fun with color. I would probably never wear this in the winter time because it just doesn't work. But when you have a nice little glow or tan, lighter colors tend to look a lot better. You could dress these up with an elevated polo and a pair of loafers or go for a casual style with white sneakers and a short sleeve cotton shirt. So the options are endless. My next essential is a pair of suede loafers. I also talked about loafers in my spring video because this is a piece that can easily transition into the summer as well. I absolutely love loafers. I think these are perfect in the summertime if you wanna be a little fancy without dying in a pair of boots or dress shoes with dress socks. You can opt for a no-show sock if you don't like going sockless, but with loafers, I think it's okay. Totally up to you and your personal preference, but if you just sprinkle a little bit of baby powder or gold bond in there, it definitely helps with the sweating and the moisture, and also use a pair of cedar shoe trees. So many guys don't know about this, but if you use those in your shoes, it's going to help with odor and also moisture when you're not wearing them. And I do think that suede tends to give a little bit more of a summery feel, but you absolutely can't go wrong with a smooth leather loafer either. And I don't wanna hate on anybody, but you come here for my opinion, so I try to be honest and give you that. There is a pair of shoes, a brand of shoes that I see so many men wearing, and they are just horrendous. I hate them. I don't use hate a lot, but I hate these shoes. They are called Hey Dudes or something like that. It's kind of like, they look kind of like a sneaker mixed with a loafer mixed with an espadrille, and it's not giving a great vibe. I don't love them. I think an espadrille, a loafer, or a sneaker is a better option than these hey dude things that I'm seeing. Um, again, you can wear what you want. You wear what you like. If you love them, that's your prerogative. You can wear them if you like them, but my personal opinion is that they are horrific. So a loafer or an espadrille is going to be a much better option. Next up is a pair of white sneakers. Now, this is going to be an 
an everyday sneaker that can be dressed up a bit more. This is not the shoe that you're going to wear to run a 5K or run a marathon. This is not a running shoe. This is an everyday smart sneaker that again can be dressed up a little bit more. White sneakers tend to be my personal favorite because they're the most versatile. Um, there are some negatives about them too, like the fact that they're difficult to keep clean. If white isn't your thing, there are definitely plenty of other options to choose from as well, so don't sweat it. The idea here is just something casual and comfortable that still looks nice and looks a little bit elevated if you pair it with a casual outfit. I see a lot of guys make the mistake of having a super great outfit on from head to ankle and then they wear a running shoe that just completely ruins it. So unless you are going for an athleisure vibe and you're wearing sweat shorts or joggers or something like that, I would try not to wear a running shoe. These don't really look good with jeans to me. Again, maybe some people have a different opinion, but I think an everyday casual sneaker is going to be a better option. Next up we have stylish swim trunks. Every guy needs a pair of these. Finding a stylish pair though is the hard part. I will say I've seen a lot better options in the last few years than there were prior to that, um, but it can still be difficult to find something nice. I tend to like solid colors or really basic patterns that hit right above the middle of your thigh or somewhere above the knee. Again here, I really don't like the board short styles that go past the knee. Um, unless you're doing something specific that requires you to wear those, I would opt for something that is above the knee. It's going to make your leg look a little bit longer. It's going to elongate everything, make your legs look slimmer. Um, it's just going to be a better option. If you're going to a pool party or something like that, you can easily wear these tastefully with the linen shirt and loafers for a transitional and functional choice that will take you from party to pool. And last on my list is a hat. Now, the style you choose here is totally up to you. If you're a casual guy, you like to wear jeans and t-shirts, maybe you opt for a baseball cap. If you're a guy who likes to get a little bit fancy, then maybe a Panama hat would suit you better. There's no right or wrong choice here because the choice is yours to make. Either way, these are gonna protect you from the sun and a bad hair day, which is a must have. Two little overall tips I want you to keep in mind for all of the essentials that I talked about today are lighter colors definitely will work in your favor in the summertime and keep you cooler. And also breathable fabrics like seersucker, cotton, linen, chambray, these fabrics that are going to be lighter, more breathable, that are just going to keep you cooler and look really great in the summer. So guys, that is all I have for men's summer essentials of 2023. I would love to hear down in the comments, what is your number one summer essential? If I missed something, be sure to let me know down below. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. Also, let me know down in the comments what other fashion videos you wanna see from me. I've really missed posting these. This is what my channel started as, um, and it just really feels good to be getting back to my roots and posting these a little bit more often. I went to fashion school. I am an expert in this field, and it's something that I really enjoy talking about with all of you guys. So as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.